Hello, I'm Robin Daly. I'm presenting Icy Infants Improving Very Low Birth Weight Infant Admission Temperatures on behalf of a tremendous group of professionals whose passion for improving patient outcomes has led to the success of this project. I have no financial relationship to disclose or conflicts of interest to resolve. The objectives are to know how QI tools are used to define key drivers necessary to achieve the defined aim, and to understand how data collected and reviewed in real time leads to rapid tests of change through PDSA cycles. Just to give you a little bit of background, after the institution of our golden hour practices, we noticed that we still had variations in our process and our babies still had admission temperatures below the desired range of 36.5 degrees Celsius. We formed an icy infants team and gathered pre-data. After gathering our data, we set our aim that all very low birth weight infants admitted to the intensive care nursery will have an admission temperature within the range of 36.5 to 37.5 degrees Celsius by January of 2016 in order to prevent the complications of hypothermia. After we set our outcome measure of admission temperature, we had to collect our data. We used this golden hour checklist as our primary tool for data collection. This checklist was initiated as part of our golden hour practices in order to optimize communication between all members of the team. This checklist was used during a pre-delivery huddle in order to assign roles and set expectations for delivery. While simultaneously the delivery room staff and the NICU staff checked bedsides for equipment and made sure everything was set up properly. What started out as a data collection tool became a catalyst for change and was key for the success of our project. Using QI tools to determine what interventions we needed to improve our process, we developed this key driver diagram. We identified five categories for improvement. Pre-warming the room and equipment, warming during delayed cord clamping, warming during resuscitation, warming during transport, and education and awareness. Through several PDA safe cycles, we developed interventions in order to improve our process. This XMR chart is a process control chart that shows individual admission temperature for every infant born 2014 to 2016. The top chart shows the outcome measure of admission temperature and the bottom chart shows the moving range from one infant to another. We were able to show special cause variation and therefore move our control limit from 36.1 to 36.9 degrees. We are also showing our moving range is decreasing as we have more babies within the goal range. In conclusion, with the development of the IC Infants Project and delayed cord clamping, we have had no severe IVH thus far in 2016. Thank you for your time.